Hey guys, this is Shantae with Simply Shantae Renee. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much for your continued love and support. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you. In today's video, I am going to be doing a plan with me or a layout um, in my what kind of planner is this? <laughs> in my faith planner, um, as you guys may know, I have switched over to the Kelova plan um, faith planner. I am loving it and I primarily use it for scripture writing. So if you are interested in seeing how the layout comes out for the week of Monday, May 21st, please continue to watch. Okay, guys, as you can see, I do have a few things out to help me um, decorate this spread for the week. I am going to use this washi tape that I got from Dollar Tree a long time ago. I'm down to the end of it. It's super cute. Um, I do look for it when I am at Dollar Tree, but I have never seen it again. Of course, I will be using the Kelova Plan Faith Basics. I absolutely love this sticker book. Um, if you're interested in a good faith sticker book this is the one i think they retail for about 19.99 on her site i also pulled out my old trusted faith warrior from happy planner um, i'm not sure if i'm going to use stickers out of this but i thought it would be cool to pull it out just in case so i wanted to kind of show you guys my progress so far um so some weeks are really good as far as I've gotten everything decorated. And then some weeks I'm just really writing in the scripture, which is the most important thing. So this was the month of July for me. I think I shared with you guys before that I did date this, but I didn't. I, I'm still kind of working my way through what I really want to do with the monthly layout. Um, but the weekly layout is what I primarily stick to. So here's like my first week of July. I absolutely love the gray mile liner, you guys. It is um, slowly becoming my favorite. I used to be, I have a lot of colors, but I have kind of gotten to, oh, I will probably only do um, like the yellow color, but that gray one has really just done something for me. So I really love this week. Here's this week. And I'm still kind of, you know, struggling with what I want to do with this space as well. And then this was the last day of the month of July. So you, I had all this page um, free, which I might just go back and decorate. So this is just some um, scripture notes, sermon notes, and then my own personal Bible study notes that I keep back here. And so my tab for the month of August is delight yourself in the Lord and he should give you the desires of your heart. And that's from Psalms 37 and 4, which hold on for a second. I can't believe that I forgot. <laughs> Let me grab my scripture for today. I cannot believe that I forgot that. I'm glad that I keep them close. Um, so the scripture for today is Luke 12 and 34. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Okay, so back to the schedule at hand. Um, so yeah, here's this tab. What I'm realizing, and I think I'm going to, because I've been kind of eyeing the Kelima Plan site. I don't know if she's planning to re-release -re anything else for the Faith Planner, but I am just going to keep these tabs. I didn't, at first I thought, oh, I'll put July through December, but I am just going to keep the tab so that way I can just have the next six months um, ready to go if I need to just kind of do my own inserts. There's a ton of inserts out there, but I really hope that she comes out with something else because I have really fallen in love with this planner. So I'm just going to keep those how they are without marking them. I will know what the month is because I do go in and put the month on the monthly. Okay. And so last week was just one of our, the first week of August was just one of those weeks where I just wrote things in. Here is the second week of August. Third week, I just wrote stuff in, and then now we are currently here to where I am going to be decorating. Um, I was off for some days. I went on a family vacation, and so I had definitely gotten a little bit behind, but I am trying to get back on track now. So, and that's okay. Life happens, um, you know, and I definitely allow myself to have time to spend with my family to just relax, but I also like to get back on track as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down my washi 
I decided to do something a little bit different when I was dating the weekdays um, and I just put the date down at the bottom. So I am going to do the washi at the top just to give it a little bit of variety um, here. I don't know, I feel like I'm like, <laughs> it almost seemed like I was getting down to the bottom of the washi like I was not gonna have enough to finish this spread. Um, I absolutely love this washi. I love florals, which is probably the reason why I really love this sticker book a whole lot because there's a ton of florals. It's just very feminine, very fun, and I really, really, really love that. Um, so when I'm writing my scriptures now, I don't know, it's just something nice to look at and to also just sit and to meditate on the word of God. If you have not heard me say before, I use the YouVersion Bible app and I just write the daily scripture from, from there that works very well for me. What I also like about it um, is as sometimes life happens, you can get behind on your daily scripture writing and so it also allows you to kind of just pull not pull um, click on a tab and you can get back to all of the previous daily scriptures so i really do love that fact um, and that's why i stick with the U version bible app there are many different like scripture writing plans out there whether you look on pinterest i used to do the Mary and Martha scripture writing. I'm not sure if they still do it or not, but they are a Facebook group that I was in. And um, I believe their names were Lisa and Shakisha. Um, and I used to do their plan as well, but sometimes I would get off with printing out the plan and then feel super, super behind. So I just thought the Uversion app works best for me because I always have it with me. So, yep. Almost done putting down the actual washi tape. Um, and I have used a thicker washi tape before in this, but I think for the purpose of this planner, I am probably going to stick to a more thinner, not super, super thin, but just about this size. I think I'm going to stick with because it still gives me a lot of room. Although I, although I don't feel like I've run out of room um, here in the weekly um, in these sections. And I think that's because it is a horizontal layout, which for me, this is the only time I am really a fan of the horizontal layout. I've tried planning before in the horizontal and I just really did not like it. Okay. So there is the base there. And then I'm just going to go through, um, and pull out some florals first, of course, which I think I know those are kind of big. These floors are just so cute. I also, when I was just kind of looking through this beforehand, thought that um, I saw a sticker that just says verse of the day. And I thought that was pretty cool to put, to pull off because each time I write in here, it will be the verse of the day. So I thought that was pretty cool to sit here um, in the center. If you have not seen my flip through of this sticker book or this planner please go back and watch i think that this is a very good flip through like i said the sticker book is still available but i have not seen any availability as far as the um faith planner so i don't know if she will like release a different one or what but um I'm anxious to see what will go on for the next, <laughs> for what I could do in the next six months if she, you know, if she doesn't release anything else um, for it. So, yeah. So, I'm just looking through here. Uh, let's see. I see some florals, but I don't want them to be too big. So, let me... I'm going to take this one here and then I'm just going to kind of curve this down here at the bottom because I want to make sure that I'm leaving myself enough space to actually write. And then I'm going to do this one up here at the top. I think that is super cute. And what I love about it is because I feel like these stickers are so cute that it does not really take much. Um, 
for you to decorate and just have like a really simple spread and it looks really, really cute. Um, hence the reason why I chose this washi tape because even though it's a different color of florals, I still thought it was cute and it went together well. I am going to play around with some different ways to kind of judge up doing my scripture writing. <laughs> Not necessarily the process, but just kind of the layout of this. Um, but sometimes you think about too, if it's not broke, don't, don't fix it. Uh, let me just put this here. Really don't want to cover up. All right. It is looking super cute. So let me just look through the rest of these stickers. I do like this sticker. It says the word of God is alive. And I think I'm just going to put that one right here. Just some small things to embellish and then let's see I'm looking for a few more stickers to complete this and I think that we will be done this won't be a long video at all but something that I do love to share and I think I am going to put this here someone who looks like she may be praying or meditating on a God so I think that's all that I'm going to pull out from the Kill of a Plan sticker book. Y'all, these stickers feel like butter and I absolutely love them. And let's see. Yeah, I think that is all I'm going to pull out that book. Okay, let me quickly look. Kind of do a quick flip through of my Faith Warrior just to see. I do like this little pink Bible here. Let's just put that up there. That's cute. Yeah, let me see. Don't think there's anything else I am going to pull out of this book, but I wanted to have it out um, just so I can start utilizing some of these stickers as well. I do see some rose golds here that I think will go really, really cute. I just like this. I'm just going to stick this amen somewhere on the spread. How about I stick it right here? Because as a symbol of saying amen to um, the word of God. And then I'm just going to go through and place some of these rose gold. I was getting ready to call them hearts, but crosses throughout this spread. There we go. No rhyme or reason where I am placing these. Um, and then I'm also now going to take some of the hearts and place them throughout the spread just to give it a little bit of difference here. go I am loving the look and there we go I feel like that is perfect I feel like that is perfect I'm also going to pull so I lied I thought I wasn't going to pull any stickers but I am seeing some stickers here that I want to use um I'll put this here. This sticker just says smile often. So I think this is it. This is my complete layout for the week of um, August 21st through the 27th. I think it is super, super cute. And so what I will do is when I'm writing down that daily scripture, if there is a sticker or something there, I'm just going to write around it but i do love how this setup came out i hope you enjoyed spending time with me here today um seeing how i do my actual scripture writing setup for the week i enjoyed um, being here with you guys and i also enjoyed sharing this spread with you i hope it is some inspiration to somebody if you are a faith planner please share with me down in the comments what you do in your planner which planner you are um, currently using. Even if you just write down your scriptures in your regular planner, please share that with me. I would love to hear what others are doing as well. You never know by us sharing, you never know what we can incorporate within our um, lives that someone else is doing that will be helpful to us as well.
Okay. I hope you guys have enjoyed your time overall here today. I hope you stayed until the entirety of this video. If you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me there at Simply Shantae Renee. Also, if you have not subscribed yet, I would appreciate your subscription today. Like and comment on the video. It does help me out a whole lot. Um, as I always like to end my videos, you guys be fearless, be intentional, and always strive to walk in excellence. And I will be sure to see you guys on the next video. Take care, guys.